Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, some elementary row operations on matrices. Uh, these can be extremely helpful in uh, solving systems of equations that are displayed as matrices. Uh, we're going to take a look at an example of that uh, once we're done going over what the operations are. So the elementary row operations. You can multiply any row of a matrix by a scalar um, and it won't change uh, the result of the equation. So for example, uh, we could multiply this first row of our coefficient matrix over here and all it would do is just multiply the top um, equation. We could also interchange any two rows of a matrix uh, to make it easier to work with. Um, that means we could swap these two rows. Um, it would just be like swapping these two equations here. And then we could multiply a row by a scalar and add it to another row. Um, that would be like multiplying this, uh, this top equation by negative 2 and adding it here to uh, get rid of the x's and then solve for y and z. Um, so one of the most important applications of matrices is that systems of equations such as this over here on the right uh, can be written as matrices. Um, so over here we have an augmented coefficient matrix, um, 1, 2, 1, and 4 on the right. 3, 6, 7, and 20, and 2, 5, 9, 19. So basically what that means, uh, we have the system AX equals B. Where A would be this matrix. Um, that's the co co all the coefficients of the system. And then X is the uh, vector X, Y, Z. Um, which this line is taking the place of. If the vector was there, we would have a matrix that looks just like this. It would be this matrix times a matrix X, Y, Z equals, and then another matrix on the uh, right side of the equation for 2019. But we can just write an augmented coefficient matrix and then solve from there. So we're gonna solve this uh, system of equations using this uh, augmented coefficient matrix. So our first operation is going to be multiplying a row by a scalar and adding it to another row. We're going to do that for both, both the uh, second and third rows of this matrix. So we can attempt to get rid of those three and twos and have zeros underneath so that the only equation in our uh, matrix that is solved for x is the top row. So the first operation is subtracting 3 of row 1 from row 2 and subtracting 2 of row 1 from row 3. So the first row is remaining untouched. The second row, if we subtract 3 of the first row, 6 minus 2 is just going to be 0. 7 minus 3, uh, excuse me, 6 minus 3 times 2 is 0, and 7 minus 3 times 1 is 4. And 20 minus 3 times 4 is 12. Uh, excuse me, 3 times 4 is 12, 20 minus that is 8. And then we have... 5 minus 4, 9 minus 2, and 19 minus 8. So now we're going to take a look at another one of our uh, matrix operations, elementary row operations. We're going to go ahead and switch these two rows, and then we're going to go ahead and solve the equation. Now we could just solve and say that 4z equals 8, but we'd like to make it a little more simple and we're going to multiply that bottom row by 1 over 4. Now 
Now, you could just solve directly here and say that z is 2 because 1 times z equals 2. Um, but for clarity's sake, I'm going to write out that uh, matrix x, y, z so we can see the uh, system of equations redisplayed once our uh, row operations have been completed. So you have uh, the coefficients here, and then the matrix X, Y, Z here, and then the resultant matrix B, uh, as we spoke about in the beginning, how we display systems as uh, matrices. So we're just going to multiply this out. So we can see after we multiply that the bottom row just results in z equals 2 and then we can go ahead and solve for y and x. So y plus 14 is going to equal 11, 11 minus 14, y equals negative 3. And then we're going to have x minus 6 plus 2 is going to equal 4. So x minus 4 equals 4, x equals 8. And that's how you solve a system of equations using matrices and elementary row operations. Uh, essentially, they're just um, multiplying uh, the equations and figuring out the system from there. But a lot easier uh, way to view that is using an augmented coefficient matrix, uh, doing out the elementary row operations, and then solving uh, once you uh, replace the uh, matrix into the original system uh, equation. We have A, X, and B, and then you can solve from there. So that's how you use elementary row operations.